Well, apparently we're going down. We're down here in the city, so we're just gonna. I come down here to see me lad for his birthday. Happy birthday, 28 today, lucky fella. Um, and I'm picking up some stuff that's come down from Killeroy, which is some pre-made frames for the bees, which would be cool. And then apparently we're going to go and get some bees out of a pomegranate tree. I thought we were getting them out of a power box, but we've moved into a pomegranate tree. I'm hoping they're just in the tr like on the outside of the tree, not in the tree like the other day. That was ridiculous, but anyway. We will soon see. You'll we'll all be on a journey of discovery together, we will. So who knows? Who knows what we'll find? Hey, hey Mark, my name is Abel. Abel, you're on your man. Yeah, yeah mate. Good to uh, meet we've, you. Got a, we've got a, a bunch of bees here we want oh. you to have a look at. Oh, and hopefully okay. you can help us out. Well, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. You're coming, have, yeah, coming they've, they've been show, a bit annoying, I would imagine, yeah, on a warm yeah, day. Yeah, on a warm day, they get quite uh, quite vibrant and uh, gutsy. There they are down there. And you reckon they've been in there for about four years? Probably about four years, yeah. yeah, yeah so four years. So hopefully, it's, yeah. hopefully they're not too far down. As you can see, we've got a bit of a jungle. I think it'd be a lot easier when they came in a box, not in the power box. Ow. Are you cutting the whole tree down? Well, I've got to get there. How else are you going to get there? <laughs> you got any better ideas? Not the whole tree, just the bit. So will you be able to take the, take the bees with you? That's the plan. Did they come with? Well, so well, that's what they, so I'll, I'll put oh, you the put them in there, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and how do you get them all in there? Well, we'll see what they look like in here. Normally, normally they'll be in like in. Well, the other ones are they'll be this. Hopefully, that's unbelievable. The top, they should just be a nice little like a nest, awesome honeycomb nest, and hopefully awesome. we'll be able to scoop them out. But we'll find out. Beautiful. We'll get the lid off, and then we'll see what. I'm, excite with. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Well, don't get too excited. It might be might not happen. Ba -dum -ba -dum. God. This will be very interesting in about 10 seconds, won't it? <laughs> You're a true hero. A true idiot. <laughs> <coughs> Bet you this is some fucked up Etzebol just to mess with us. <laughs> okay, we'll have a look what's in hiding under here. If we can get this lid off, that'll be the next bit, won't it? Now yeah, they're getting excited already. Whether we can get the lid off is the next question. Oh, i just giving them something else to think about other than biting me. <laughs> we'll see what sort of trouble we get into in a minute. Here comes the exciting bit. Watch me get stung for sure. Beautiful. Beautiful, Harry. Yeah, there's all their little larvae. The little white bits there. Mm -hmm. The little baby bees. A little bit of dark honey that's been in here for a while. <laughs> Bee Rescue 911. No, what's my phone number? Call me. No, fuck it, don't call me. <laughs> Here we go, we'll see what we can get out. Doing a good job though, see how nice and clean her brood is. Like nice and nicely spaced. But holy shit, it goes down for miles. Just the base of the nest, the honeycomb in the nest and the and yeah, so but it's bloody miles down there. 
that's a bit old rude, old, old honeycomb. I don't know what we're going to do with this shit. Can you see how far down that goes? So we're not 100% sure whether we're getting the queen here because this hole goes way deeper than we thought. But you see how they're starting to try and go into the box? See they're actually not trying to escape, they're trying to get in. That's usually a good sign that the queen's in there, but not necessarily, they might just be nurse bees too. I don't know how you get the rest of that out of there, Chance. I think we might be in trouble myself. What do you reckon? It's fairly old honeycomb down the bottom. Maybe she's in there. Maybe she was on the new brood, which is that was all that good brood we pulled out. So it's very possible that we've got her. And that's just old stuff down there. But it's very possible we haven't got her. <laughs> so I don't know, what do you reckon? We might leave the box the other side of the fence and see how many see how the bees are going there. And we'll see how many turn up. And if we get back and all the bees have left and gone into this this here, well we know we're screwed. <laughs> Well, maybe we should just take what we've got and be done with it. So, I don't know. I fucking don't know what we should do, to be absolutely honest with you. So, I think I'm going to put the lid back on. And we'll let them figure out what the hell they want to do. There's only so much a bloke can do, isn't there? Some of the crazy stuff we do to save the bees, honestly. Just as well the planet needs them. Oh. I wonder what would happen if flies could bite your ass. Oh, awesome. Hey, we might have a, you know, if they've done that. That's a pretty good sign. Maybe I'll do that actually, before we get out of there. I'll get the bee brush and brush them in there. successful that was going to be or not but we'll find out I guess we'll know in about a fortnight <sighs> won't we ladies hey not happy Jan that's what they're saying isn't it not happy 